Hey everybody, this is Daniel Ruiz, and welcome to Genesis Day 2 of Creation. It's going to be on Genesis 1, 6 through 8, which talks about the firmament. And a more modern term for this is the expanse. So go and get your Bibles ready, because we're about to dive in. Before we do that, let's go and pray. Father, please forgive us for our sins, past, present, and future. God, may we invite you into this place, God. May your presence fill this place, God. May your Holy Spirit, Father, fill our hearts, God, in Jesus' name. And may you bring understanding to us, Father, that we may understand your word today, God. And I pray, Father, that you bring a peace to me and the listener, God, a peace and a calmness. Father, fill our hearts, God, with your refreshing joy. In Jesus' name, pray, amen, and amen. Uh, we're going to go and read Genesis 1, 6 through 8. So here we go. Then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, so the evening and the morning were the second day. So at this moment, to give a a better understanding about this to give a better understanding of this because this is the space the expanse is the space where God will place all the stars and the planets and the galaxies but to explain this a little bit better right now in the beginning of creation earth is nothing but water at this moment so we have the earth the waters of the earth and God makes a firmament in between the waters of the earth and the waters of heaven so he literally just separates the waters like that just think about it like going all the way around okay so you have the waters of the earth the waters of the heavens and in between is the expanse another word is heaven and this is the space where god will place all the stars and the planets and the galaxies and we can confirm this on day four of creation when we look at genesis 1 14 1 15 and 1 17 we'll go more in depth we're going to go to the first sentences of each to get a better understanding of uh, to confirm that this is where God is placing the stars and everything. In Genesis 1.14 it says, Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night. In 1.15 it says, And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. In 1.17 it says, God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. So in these three, he's explaining that this is where he's putting the great lights in the sky, which are the sun, the moon, and the stars, all the planets, all the galaxies, the solar systems, the universe is all in the expanse, okay? And it confirms it right here that this is where God is, that God is confirming this is what's in the expanse. So we know what the expanse is. When you look up, all the way up is the expanse, okay? And I was doing some research on this to find out more and I found something by Dr. Danny Faulkner and he says um, if we're looking at creation through Genesis through how God says the earth was created then there should be an edge of water at the end of our universe because we have the waters of the earth like that the waters of heaven that's separated out whenever we made the expanse in between so at the end of the universe should be that rim of water all the way around the earth and of course any state of matter in physics it's, he states that any state of matter with temperature radiates and water has matter so it's got to radiate because any with any temperature it will radiate which means that we should be receiving radiation from all directions of the earth and that's what's happening it's called cosmic microwave background and if you look at this video i'm going to give you at the end uh, where he explains the whole thing he actually shows a visual which is very cool very interesting and very educational uh, and what you can learn from it and uh, I'll give you that at the end of this video but for right now another example he gives when looking at creation through Genesis is since the firmament is expanding it's coming from the center and if God makes the firmament from the earth right there and the firmament expands out from the earth uh, that must mean that at the center of the firmament is the earth the earth is at the center and he says that there's evidence to suggest that this is the case which means that we have a special a very special relationship with the creator of the heavens and the earth and 
Now, if you want to receive any, and if you want to understand more about what he was explaining and everything, you can go to his video and you can go on YouTube and type in Origins, the Firmament of Genesis 1, and he'll explain it all for you. And it's really, it's a really, really cool explanation that he gives. And, but right now I want to go and ask if any of you would like, if any of you would like to have a special relationship with God, our creator, then I'd invite you to pray this with me today. Pray this prayer with me today. For it says in Romans 10, 9, if you openly declare that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You have to mean it when you say it. You have to mean it and believe it when you pray and you will be saved. And come as you are right now because tomorrow is not promised and your time is not set in stone. You could be gone tomorrow. Give your life to Jesus while you still can. And it says in Romans 10, 13, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So if you come as you are right now, he will save you no matter who you are. Just pray this prayer with me right now. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. I believe you died for me on the cross and on the third day you rose again. I receive you in my heart as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer with me, I'm so happy, I'm so happy for you because you're going to get filled with such a peace and such a, a such a delightful understanding. I, I, there's so much words to explain it, but you're going to be so happy. He's going to fill you with pure joy and a refreshing joy that will never end. Uh, and tune into our next video. We're going to talk. It's going to be on Genesis Creation Day Three. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see y'all later. God bless.